Welcome back to this episode everyone, in this one we put the rest of the body panels on the center section of the car. Welcome back. All right, we are moving on. So we got all this done. Now we're going to start on this section right in here, getting the windows in put in place, and we got the radiator and everything else here to go in place now. a little notch down here. Lay the windshield in and then I would just glue around the inside edge of the windshield on the inside and you wouldn't be able to see the glue this is a little bit different uh, well it, it kind of meshed in with the black there so you can't really see the glue I'm not going to touch anywhere up here because you'll be able to see it and I don't want to see any glue at all now these panels go on the top here Hey, I can see. That's amazing. Whoever invented glasses is a genius. He should be rich. So the old little notches there. Okay, not too bad. Now, um, you can still see a little bit of glue around the edges here. It's hard to see with this camera. Um, but all around the e outer edge here, uh, I have to paint it black. So uh, I'll go back over it with the uh, um, semi-gloss black, and that way it'll get rid of all this glue look on both sides here so now the final stage here is this being put on the back there get that glued into place put some tape over this here to hold it down so we got the rear body panel here that goes on the back here now before I put that on I had to finish uh, painting the edges here because they, they uh, I did a test fit and it they showed 
uh, the the white of the original color so that's all painted now I've got to let that dry before I can stick that onto the model all right so what I'm gonna do here is apply a little bit of glue to the bottom of the rear bumper I guess that's what that is a rear bumper with a supercar you just don't know now there's two little lips here corners they fit over top of this so I gotta push the bumper down slide that underneath like that and there we go a nice snug fit and what I'm going to do under here is add a little bit more glue here to make sure that this stays locked down. Just in that area there. Okay. Now we're on this section here. Got more body panels that'll be going on now. Okay, so we got uh, these uh, pieces here, two uh, window pieces going on the sides here, that goes on the back here, and these two go along this edge here and along this edge here. Now that we got those on there, put the back on here. So it goes on there like that. Just gonna trim these back a little bit, make it look smooth. Now, again, these areas up in here, I gotta paint that matte black because there's no actual clear area underneath, just like these windows here. Just the areas where that's where you see the glue, I gotta paint that. But I gotta clean my fingerprints off the inside. Otherwise, I'm not gonna be able to clean it. see the the messiness of the glue there that's all going to be painted over so you won't see it okay now come these strips that go all along the model body of the car make sure I get okay so there's a little notch that goes down there like that and like that okay Okay, now we got uh, these uh, side panels here. Here. Let's look. 
Okay, so the windows have to go on first. on This long skinny one goes here like this. We got this one here going there like that. Okay, now we're all finished with all these here. We're on to this step here with the, the fenders. Okay, so we got the rear fender here. And then we got this piece here that fits over. This area here. just like that. Fits inside here like that. I'm just going to put it in like that and then glue around the outside edges. There we go. See? Nice and clean inside. No glue. Because it glues all on the inside there. Alright, and we got this section here, like this, skirts around, and this little notch there. Oh, I see, it just skirts around the outer edge here, is where this skirts. See, that's where doing test fits are like mandatory. this way and this fits right here on here like this all right now that we get those done we just install those onto the rear of the car don't need to do all areas of glue just certain areas where the points are touching the vehicle
Now there's a couple of points here where you can see the body paneling isn't right up tight. I'm just going to go uh, use putty on those areas and then paint it and that'll cover that all in. Now that we got that done, we're going to move to the uh, undercarriage for the front area of the car. Okay, I got these two points that go in either side of the fender here. There's two little half moon nibs here that go on here like that. Find out the glue points, which is here and here. Okay, so now we're on this step here, putting those uh, uh, fins in the front which go in these sections in here and here. Now originally I thought I was going to make them a gold color, but since they're going to they would blend in too much with the body color, so I'm going to make them uh this says Chevrolet engine red color. Okay. <clears throat> I'll give those time to dry and then I'll paint the other side. While that's all drying, uh, well, we're going to move on to the front headlight assembly. Okay. <clears throat> so there are uh, a couple of points here. I got to paint the outer edges here semi gloss black. And for something like these, you just stick them on the tape there. Since you can't hold it, because you got to do the entire outside with the uh, semi gloss. While those dry, we work on the rest of the headlight assembly. All right, <clears throat> so starting with this one. Just going to have to hold that in place. Very gently. Just like that. Just very gently around the outside 
of the lighting unit. And this teeny tiny signal light goes in there. around the outside just glue that now this in here goes on the inside of this little strip in here I don't have any choice I have to glue this whole area here and just stick it on top just like that um, now this along with these uh, cover panels uh, are the main headlights that go in behind here behind the big section um, so those are drying I, so I can't do anything with these just yet until this dries so I'll just go on to the second one here and do the whole thing And you can see the next step is to uh, put on the headlight assembly, but I since I can't complete it just yet, I mean, this step's just going to have to wait. Okay, these look really good now. Not bad. I'm going to get uh, these installed here. Uh, on the very insides, I put chrome silver, and it's just going to add to the effect of the headlights. Okay, so we got uh, this in here, goes into that, and from there onto that. It's good. All right, those are both done, but we have to install these first before we can actually move forward. We got the two small ones here that go on first. There's two tiny little uh, holes, and it's two little nibs here on the side that go inside there. So I need to do. Just like that. Just the teeniest, tiniest little bit of glue. These larger ones here they go in these uh, slots in here.
So it fits on there like that. And that's what it looks like on the inside. Alright, now that those are in place, let's get the headlights in. Okay, so uh, they just get glued on to the very edges here on both sides. There are a few areas along the glue points there where I gotta retouch up uh, the uh, semi gloss. But other than that, it's it looks okay. So you can see there, not bad. So we got these two corner pieces here that go uh, right in this area here that wrap around. So it goes in like this just like that just like that now I uh, I gotta repaint some areas here um, just because I, I had to trim off the excess from the tree now we're moving on to this area here for the front end here with the hood all right now the hood here but i gotta put this on but before i put that on i gotta do some assemblies here some assembly required make one here okay these are the intakes for the radiator. Just making sure. Yep. Always helpful do it pre-test even if one side fits perfectly still test the other side one thing I cannot stress enough is to always do a fit test before gluing I don't always do it myself and I really should Okay, now I'm going to put this on first, and then this little bit here goes on the very front here of the hood that I need to do. So this goes on here, because there's four little nibs here that fit into these uh, four little uh, holes here. Okay, so I'm just going to hold it down like that. Just glue around. Now this. on here right there like that okay try and get the glue on the inside as much as possible because when the glue squeezes out it goes towards the inside of the model where you don't see it 
instead along the edge on the outside. Okay, that's the hood. Okay, now this on there. Just gonna do a test fit here just to see where I need the glue. Okay. So a little bit underneath this side, that side. Around there. Okay. So a little bit of glue here, here, along the edge here, and along these edges here. Alright, now you see this uh, little area here. I have to add a metal transfer there. The one I need to add is uh, this here. It says the McLaren. Now we move on to the front fenders. Okay. So we got uh, we got these two pieces. One goes in here. Actually, if I look at it this way. It goes here, like that, on both sides. have to smooth the net out just a little bit more. Oh, okay, yeah, all right, there we go. All right, it, it slides over top of the very edge of the hood here. So a little, little bit of touch up painting along the edge there. So, I'm just going to glue a little bit here on the tips here. Uh, here. And underneath here. And along the underside there. Just like that. All right, not bad, not bad. Okay, now we just gotta put this center piece on that goes along the top there. All right, now we're gonna be working on the doors. Okay, so we got these two halves we need to put together first.
Now the running boards here, they go on the bottom of the doors. got these uh, vents here <clears throat> on the insides and the upper part of the doors. For the side mirrors there, I got another metal transfer to put on first. Okay, now these arms here go on the sides of the doors here. And then finally these just sit inside these little cradles. Just got the final step here of putting the doors on. First, this uh, this goes on, then the door over top. Okay, so we got these two clear pieces here that go on uh, the sides here, one on either side. Okay, so before I put the doors on, I got to paint around the areas here, same with all up here, uh, just to hide the uh, glue. Like that. All right, there we go. Looks good. Even got the tops up there all painted. Just gotta let that dry. Now you don't see the glue underneath. Looks really good. There you have it, looking really good. And that's it for this episode, everyone. In the next episode, we are going to be working on the chassis and the wheels. Please like, subscribe, comment, don't forget to share, and click that notification bell for any future uploads.
If you have any questions or you want me to do some commission work for you, contact me at epic.models at gmail.com. Also, check out my website, www.epicmodels.com. See you again later. Bye-bye.